Hi, it's Hannah Hillary, and I'm going to tell you about another bad woman. We're going to learn about Lucy Parsons, who fought for the rights of workers and poor people. Lucy Gonzalez Parson was born in Texas during the Civil War area, era. She was Native American, Mexican, and African American ancestry, ancestry. Little is known about her early years, but her parents might have been slaves. When she grew up, Lucy married a white na man named Albert Parsons, even though it was against the law for pe people of different races to get married in Texas. After Albert faced violent threats for helping former slaves to register to vote, they knew they had to leave the state. The couple moved north to Chicago where men were building railroads, homes, and roads, and women were working in factories. Lucy watched as poor people worked long hours, desperately trying to make enough money to feed their families while the wealthy people who owned the factories and railroads lived comfortable lives. Lucy and Albert joined organizations that aimed to improve conditions for workers. Strong-willed, Lucy led meetings, wrote articles, and gave speeches. She also gave birth to two children, and after Albert was fired from his job because of his political activism, she opened her own dress shop to support the family. On May 1st, 1886, Lucy and her family helped lead a march of 80,000 people down the streets of Chicago. They wanted to pass a law that would guarantee workers an eight-hour workday because there were no limits on how many hours a person was expected to work. Sometimes people were forced to work for 16 hours straight. A few days later, Albert gave a peaceful speech at another rally. When the police turned up, it became violent. Albert was arrested, and this became known as the Haymaker Riot. Lucy led the campaign to defend her husband. She traveled around the country and gave 43 speeches in 17 states. The police followed her everywhere. Waiting for her outside the meeting halls to try to stop her from speaking. The Chicago police once said she was more dangerous than 10,000 rioters. In the end, Lucy wasn't able to free her husband, but she never gave up her crusade for justice. Lucy spent her life speaking out and writing about workers' rights, racism, women's issues, fighting to make America a fair place for all. So remember, stand up, speak out, fight for what's right. I love you and I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Bye.